How does citrus bergamot superfruit improve cholesterol measurements and overall cardiovascular health? Hello, I'm Joel Kahn, medical doctor, clinical professor of medicine at a major medical school, author, preventive cardiologist, and founder of my clinic, the Kahn Center for Cardiac Longevity in suburban Detroit, Michigan. Thank you for listening. So cardiologists and researchers have studied the issue of what causes clogged arteries throughout the body. And there is now consensus worldwide that a kind of chemical in the blood called LDL cholesterol, also known as low density lipoprotein cholesterol, and its structure, which includes a component called apolipoprotein B, although that's a little technical, they cause clogged arteries. Um, many times scientists say things are associated. Uh, smoking is associated with emphysema, but then we also know that smoking can cause lung cancer. There's overwhelming evidence. Going back to the heart issue, we know that LDL cholesterol is associated with clogged arteries, but we've got enough evidence and enough years and enough studies that scientists agree LDL cholesterol causes clogged arteries. That's the substance that leads to strokes, heart attacks, leg blockages, and so many deaths that it's the number one cause of death in the world in Western countries without question. And in the United States, it's been number one for over a hundred years, rather sadly. So the major focus of cardiology and prevention now is to lower LDL cholesterol. You can lower it with diet, you can lower it with exercise, you can lower it with healthy weight loss, you can lower it with stress and sleep management. But natural substances and leading the way is something called citrus bergamot superfruit. This looks like a lemon, but it grows predominantly in a region of Italy at the tip of the boot called Calabria. And it's not just any old lemon, it's unique. It has a very high juice concentration and it has many chemicals that are unique to the citrus bergamot superfruit. How do we know this? We watched people in the region live very long, healthy lives. We did basic science, we did animal studies, then we did human randomized clinical studies using supplemental citrus bergamot superfruit. What's interesting is when you take a prescription drug, like a family of drugs called statins, maybe you know the name atorvastatin, rasuvastatin, or their former brand names, uh, Lipitor and Crestor. We think they mainly work at a single site in the liver, at a single enzyme to block the production partially of cholesterol in the liver. When you look at something natural, you often find that it works many different ways in the body. And that's what's been found with citrus bergamot superfood. It lowers cholesterol partly in the liver, partly in the GI tract. It is a potent anti-inflammatory agent, which is a good thing. It's a potent antioxidant. It's another good thing. And it can lower a variety of measurements like the total cholesterol level, the LDL cholesterol level, the triglyceride level, sometimes raise the HDL cholesterol, and finally lower inflammation and oxidative stress, which is basically a form of rusting of your arteries. How do we know this? Dozens of published studies. And if you include the basic science studies, the animal studies and the human studies, dozens and dozens and dozens of published scientific studies that go through a process called peer reviewed. They are evaluated before they're published. They aren't just like reading it in a trade magazine and they've met the criteria. So we now have something called systematic reviews and meta-analyses that describe all the different pathways by which citrus bergamot superfruit can improve cardiovascular health, lower cholesterol, lower inflammation, and lower this rusting or oxidative stress. That's why here at the Con Center, we rely in almost every patient on supplemental citrus bergamot superfood. Now there are additional benefits. Often blood sugar improves, liver health improves. These are documented in science papers and human studies. But in my uh, clinical practice, it's all about a low LDL cholesterol for optimal arteries. So I hope you've learned a little bit here from the Con Center. Thank you for listening.